Okay, uh, guys, quick little update vid on my Emacs. I'm going to try and make it short. So, first thing is the frequency problems. I've been having frequency problems with all three of the RCs. That's the, the Baja 5B, the XTM Blade, and this Emacs you see here. Basically, it'll just start going full throttle and steering in every other direction and crashing it. So, I need to change the crystals out, hopefully, get something in a random number, or go to 2.4 gigahertz if that's not resolved. Uh, besides that, right now there's a 40 tooth pinion here, 68 tooth spur gear, which is geared absolutely insanely high. So I'm going to be ordering um, Kershaw Designs steel 25 tooth pinion gears. I'm going to put those on, see if the cooling gets better because right now I'm having heating issues because these things are absolutely insanely taking an insane amount of juice from the ESC and batteries, so that's overheating. So I'm going to see if that gets better. If not, and I'm most likely going to do this, I'm going to take out 1970, take off the wires, unsolder them, solder them onto here. And so this 1970 will be getting 14.4 um, volts, volts. And with a 25 tooth uh, uh, pinion gear. That way it'll keep down the cooling here. This will probably run more efficiently. And it'll just be overall better, I believe. Um, so that's that. Other than that, um, remember when I painted the wheels? Well, I unglued them, so I have to go and re-glue all four wheels here. Um, uh, the back bumper, uh, since these are RC Raven, <laughs> if you know, um, RC Raven has really bendable and, uh, what do you call it, soft aluminum. So these get bent easily. So, I don't know how this happened, but this one got bent up. It was pushing up on the bumper, so it was like lots of pressure on the bumper mount. So I took that off. That's why you don't see it there. So I have to bend that down this weekend. Uh, other than that, the front right here, as you can see, also got bent up. And you see how the, the skid plate are also bent like that. So I'm going to try and fix that. So I'm going to take this off, you know, bend it so it's in front of the skid plate, like usual. I mean, in front of the bumper, like usual. Hopefully, that'll be all good, good. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, hopefully you're going to be looking at new gearing, one revolver 970, and some more vids, of course, as soon as I can get it up and running, because right now, not so much. So, thank you for watching my videos, and I hope you stay updated. And, yeah, so, have a good night, good day, or good afternoon. Bye.